asking me a question I'm trying to avoid and a, a topic I try to avoid, but he's got two questions. Oh, no, one question. What is your opinion of current Mueller-Trump investigation situation? Do you think Elizabeth Warren should have called for impeachment? Um, all right. You know, I've, I've tried to avoid commenting too much on the Mueller-Trump because I'm so critical of Trump on so many issues that I, I, I find it, you know, whatever has been discovered by Mueller just par for the course. Uh, it, you know, what I would have expected for the kind of behavior that we have seen, that we have seen, uh, you know, from Donald Trump as president. So, you know, I never thought much of this collusion with the Russians, although uh, there was obviously stuff going on in the background with Russia, but... I, I never thought that was a big issue. But with regard to this obstruction of justice, I mean, is there any doubt? Is there any doubt given Trump's statements and given Trump's inclinations and given Trump's behavior that he tried to obstruct the investigation and probably in the background did everything he could within the framework of what is you know, reasonably legal to, to stop this investigation? I mean, sure he did. Is this my main problem with Donald Trump? No. I mean, he is a pragmatic, stand-for-nothing, scaremongering um, statist. That's, and, and with, with, with a character, uh, with, a, with, a, with a really, really, really bad uh, character. He's a he's a, a, a obsessive liar. Uh, a bullshit is better than a liar because, as I've said before, it, it's not that he lies in the conventional sense. It's that reality doesn't mean anything to him. He doesn't care about it, one way or the other. He says, just like a pragmatist would, a real pragmatist would, whatever he thinks will get him his goal. And in that sense, he is much more of a pragmatist than I think any other president we've ever seen. So. He's willing to do whatever. So did he want the investigation shut down? Did he do what he could to shut down the investigation? Probably, yes. Is this my main objection to Donald Trump? No, it's one more. Should Elizabeth Warren call for his impeachment? Well, what do you mean, should she? Um, she's running for president in a very crowded Democratic field. Uh, the, the, the front runner right now, by I think quite a bit, is a Bernie Sanders. There's this other guy, um, uh, this gay, gay mayor of, of a city, I can't remember, who is uh, getting a huge amount of press and uh, getting a huge amount of visibility and is doing really, really well. You know, we'll see if it lasts. We'll see if he has, I can't even pronounce his, his family name. So, um, but, but gig, but, but gig, but gig. Um, anyway, uh, he is very affable, uh, very charismatic, seems to be charming people, seems to getting, but getting a lot of press. I think the press is quite enamored with him. And Elizabeth Wan needs some attention. She needs to stand out above the field. And just debating me, as she has said she would do in September, is not going to get her that attention. So um, she needs to engage in something. In, 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 um, in something that will get her onto the front pages of the papers, and this is a good thing. I mean, a lot of the other Democratic leaders are against impeachment. They don't think it'll really get them anywhere, and they think it'll just, and I think they're right, I think it'll just, um, you know, energize Donald Trump's base and, and uh, just make them a target of his base. But, you know, I don't know. I don't, you know, I'm, politics is, is not my specialty in terms of politics, in terms of predicting what the electoral what, people who vote will do. I have no idea. But so Elizabeth Warren is here to try to get some attention. And, and I think she can't lose here, right? First of all, she's in the Senate. The Senate is most likely not going to impeach Trump unless some new revelations come out that are, that are far more extreme than what we've seen. Uh, so most of the action will happen in the House. And she's get her names in the paper. There's no downside here for her, you know, than, than, than to say this. It's, it's red meat for the base. She comes out looking like she's militant and she's really angry and she wants to defend uh, uh, 
to defend the American people, those people at least who want to impeach Trump. And, you know, so again, no downside and, and lots of upside in terms of publicity. And I think that's all that matters. I mean, uh, again, the, the House impeaches, the, the, the Senate does this trial kind of thing. The Senate still has to vote, um, but uh, the House has to pass it on to the Senate and nothing will happen in the Senate. So, uh, uh, you know, they, they, they can't get rid of the president without both houses. By large votes, I think the Senate has to vote two thirds uh, for uh, getting rid of the president to, to make that happen. So, ain't happening, ain't happening. But, you know, Elizabeth Warren has nothing to lose by doing it.